Begin by selecting your station. Then double click hardware. Right click on the module whose values you want to modify. We will choose the 16 bit digital output module. Select monitor modify from the context sensitive menu. Before you can modify a variable, you must first turn on monitoring. Put a check in the box next to monitoring. The output Q4.0, named L weight invalid, is false. Let's modify this value to be true. Type a 1 or spell out the word true in the modify value column. The output Q4.2, named L manual, is true. Type a zero or spell out the word false to modify this value to false. The output Q4.4 with no symbol name is false. Let's modify this value to be true. The output Q4.7 with no symbol name is true. Let's modify this variable to be false. Under the Run Immediately section, clicking the Modify Value button sends the values of the Modify Value column to the output image table as a one-shot. In other words, the values are written into the image table once. Click the Modify Value button. Q4.0 did not modify to true. That's because there's code telling the output to be false, and when the value true was sent out once, the code immediately overwrote it. Q4.4 did modify to true because it's not used in the code. Since inputs are read in every scan, modifying them with the Run Immediately section will not work. In the Run Conditionally section, click the Trigger button. In the Trigger Point for Modifying section, you can set when the value should be sent out. The default is Beginning of Scan Cycle. You may also choose end of scan cycle or CPU transition to stop. Since outputs are written out after the code scans, we will choose end of cycle. In the trigger condition for modifying section, the default is once, which means the values are sent out as a one shot. Choose every cycle if you want the modify values to be sent out every scan. Click the radio button every cycle. Click OK to close the trigger setup window. Now place a check in the box next to Modify. You will see a message telling you that this affects the process permanently and ask if you want to continue. The word permanently here is a bit of a misnomer. You must maintain a communication connection with the PLC for the Modify to continue. In other words, if your PGPC interface to the PLC is lost, the modifying will stop. Also, if you close out this monitor modify window, the modifying will stop. If the CPU goes to stop and back to run, the modifying will stop. And if the CPU's power is cycled, the modifying will not automatically resume. Click yes if you want to continue. This is doing what we want except for Q4.2. Q4.2 has a permanent modify to false, but the value is still true. Pressing the F5 key will update the Monitor Modify table to show if forcing has been done from a force table. Press the F5 key. The red F means that Q4.2 has a force placed on it from a force table. Let's go check it out. Minimize the Hardware Configuration Editor. Let's slide the variable table over so we can see the project structure. Click on the Blocks folder. Then go to the PLC menu and choose Display Force Values. Q4.2 is forced to true in the force table, which takes precedence over the Monitor Modify table. Watch the video on forcing to see how to start and stop forcing I.O. using a force table. This concludes the video on modifying variables from the Hardware Configuration Editor.